Oko. Ali ne jako oko. Kaji moti so ibo. Kaji moti so ibo. Kompia. Kompia. Ko debe. Ko debe. Wata mili fayoko. Wata mili fayoko. Today vota ata. Today vota ata. Yesterday onyaho. Very soon you might start seeing us speaking Chinese. Anyway, I'm dancing with the most handsome young people, African nations, and a lame pumping a physical husband. And as usual, I have beside me my most genuine way. <laughs> yeah, good day everyone. You are welcome today. I'm Jackie Atulmani Setro. It's a pleasure to have you around on the Setro's vlog channel today. If today is your first time, please don't forget to subscribe and like. I want to say thank you to all that have been helping us with our foundation in transforming the life of the African youth. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. Please come closer. Let me tell you, if you're an African and you're seeing this video, you need to open your antenna very, very well. Any Latin lighting, you see like that, that, Lunjeba. You told it to your body, yeah, you're about mama solo the channel. Because before you know it, you're about Lunjeba. Very soon, if care is not taken, we're going to start speaking our dialect, our mother tongue, that is more fluent, more interesting, more captivating, more romantic, more totorizing. <laughs> Because what we are discovering now is like the whole world is planning something for against Africa. For against Africa. Yes, Ben <laughs> Microsoft. I do not need to make sense in the use of another man's language when I have my own language there. Now, it's beginning to sound like Chinese because every time you hear them talk, they say, Now, there is this video that is going up around and I'm seeing that the Chinese are already preparing for a very, very interesting part in which they are beginning to train their children to understand how to speak our own Nigerian language. Local dialects, Ibo, they are teaching their Chinese children, whereas the, we, the Africans, Nigerians, we are saying no, they are vernacular. We are, we, are, we, are, we are throwing them by the side, taking another man's language, English, and our children are not learning our own mother tongue. And Chinese now that want to take over Africa, they are training their children on this local dialect of we Africans. And let me tell you, they are doing it strategically. We, the Africans, we are dropping our monotone, our beautiful monotone, and grabbing the tongues of our captors, the tongue of our colonizers. That is what I call mental slavery. And I say that is not enough. Look at what is presently happening. Japa syndrome. Japa syndrome, according to Professor Dissetro of Molangwe, <laughs> it has a situation whereby the colonizer, the former colonizer, are now what making sure that the continent of Africa is remaining underdeveloped so that they can continue to excavate to carry our brainy youth into their own economy and create a condition for them that is suitable to make them forget their origin whereby they will be traveling into this place and exploring but the Chinese people are thinking further than that the Chinese people are now thinking of understanding our language getting married to our people and most especially they have this particular tribe in, Af in Nigeria that they love to go for. Do you know the tribe? Any tribe where resources are mostly located in, they go for them. And where you talk about business transactions more in Nigeria, these are the Eastern people. Now, these Chinese are now training their children on how to communicate in Igbo. It's a good one, it's not a bad one. Anybody can learn anybody's language. But the side effect of this, let's always look at the pros and the cons. 
is the fact that we are having our children delivered outside the continent and we are training them in the language of our captors. Majority of your children do not even know their mother tongue, but foreigners are now understanding their mother tongue, meaning that the possibility of a takeover. They've been called foreigners in their homeland. It's like 90%. Yes, because let's say uh, in the next generation now, let's say 50 years to come, if your children are just still with the Japa syndrome, they are not just having the mentality that let me just go develop and come back to develop my motherland just like a, a Nigerian fashion designer did Kenneth Ize. She he went to Austria and when they when he was there, he was always listening to this sound sultan song, the late sound sultan, Ajole Dabile. Ajole Dabile simply means there is no place at like home. So he said growing up in Austria, Vienna, he was always listening to that song every day and something kept on on seeing him that you have something to do at home so he let fashion and everything came back and is right now part of those leading in the fashion industry in nigeria in africa but some of this japa syndrome they don't have that they just want to go there stay there they're not thinking of coming back so by the time they come back in the next 50 years if the chinese are now here they've learnt yoruba they've learnt hausa they've learnt Igbo, and they're married to an Igbo man when you now come as a woman do you understand that they're just going to ask where are you coming from this is my husband's place this is my resource this and before you know it you are going to be turned a foreigner in your own homeland or if you are still doubting why do you think saudi arabia and um, UAE, uae don't allow do not it allow such to happen or you forfeit your inheritance let's all be thinking twice because what we are doing, we are playing with the keg of gunpowder in Africa. We are allowing our children to learn the language of the captor while they drop their own mother tongue. In case you are outside there and your children do not understand their mother tongue and you are from the western part of this country, kindly reach out to us. Let us start training your children online. online on how to speak their mother tongue so that we can be able to get some little fun to form our own foundation in which we are able to what empower more indigent but diligent african youth this is one way we can help you while you on the other side help our own foundation to assist african children that are still within the continent of africa but they are poor they need help, they need assistance. So let us help your children yes. while you help the children of the indigent. And I think that's just it. And this message, please try to share this video. It's a brainwashing system that they are just taking away our inheritance for us. And we're not knowing it. Please, those in diaspora, I think this is a call for you. The other day, we had that some persons from America came to University of Ibado to learn Yoruba language and they learnt it very well, they start speaking Yoruba, do you think they don't know what they are doing? So if you want your children to learn this African dialect, please reach out to us as you said and we'll do so and we'll be able to empower more indigent but African but diligent African youth. So till we come your way next time, let's have your thoughts on this in the comment section. Do you think it's a win-win situation? Do you think it's a situation in which Africans have to wake up and think now and be smart and start investing in their children in our coming generation or we should just hold our hands what do you think so don't forget the joy therapy your joy is your strength whatever is happening make sure your joy is still intact 